G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is a Vampire's Assault Rifle with bullets exploding for area damage and faster movement speed whilst aiming major and minor legendary effects respectively. In the spirit of trying something new, I've done away with the suppressor reflex sight and a perforating magazine, as well as a stealth commando playstyle, and we're going to see if this thing can keep me alive through the amounts of fire that I'll be under. Generally, the super mutants give me the most trouble, but maybe the ghouls might kill me, because the game plan here, as with all um, Vampire's weapons, is... Uh, sit in Nerd Rage Special, you get that massive damage boost. I've got all my unyielding armor boosting my stats properly, so I'm not going to be using this thing in VATS, but, you know, if I do want to use this thing in VATS, it's going to be pinpoint accurate. We're not going to be using concentrated fire, though. What we've got instead is a uh, long shot and tank killer, and long shot is there just to gonna give us a little bit of a boost with the scope. Obviously, without a suppressor, our range is a lot higher than what it usually would be with the suppressor, so I'm going to capitalize on that, giving me a short scope, which will hopefully, um, you know, synergize really well with my faster movement speed whilst aiming. It's something, I guess, but, you know, that's kind of cool. I've also got a swift magazine in there, which gives me a decent balance between reload speed and ammo capacity, so I won't be running out every 20 bullets. It'll be 25 even, so an extra five shots is invaluable, and since ground pounder won't help me reload as fast as usual, the swift magazine seems like a good pick there. We're doing 44 damage, again, with the powerful auto receiver, which is kind of stock standard when it comes to assault rifles. It's not really that um, great, but it's not terrible either. It's mainly the rate of fire that'll probably help us out. And I'm thinking that with the explosive damage too, that also triggers the uh, vampire's effect. And you also got to remember one thing about the vampire's effect, that it'll actually repair your limbs as well. So if you get crippled, if you get shot too much, and you can just shoot someone, and your limbs will start to regenerate as well, which is super invaluable for a character that only has two endurance and no room for adamantium skeleton anyway. So, here's what I've got in my loader. I've got a marathoner, so I can run around without using as much action points. Evasive, and I've also got dodgy, which will be replacing sneak, because who needs to sneak when I've got all of this? But, yeah. So, basically, I've got a tank loadout happening here, and gunsmith can go away for a demo expert, as I also accidentally take off batteries included. And that gives me 90 damage, which is better. It's, it's alright. Okay, Nerd Rage has been achieved. There it is. We've also got double XP. That's not very useful, but 155 damage now. Okay, so here we are at Scorch Beast Reach. It's like Dragon's Reach, but for giant bats instead of giant reptiles. But that's what we look like. We've already seen the Assault Rifle and the Bat Paint before. I don't have the Stick Magnet at this time because, one, I wanted to try something new, you see. But also, I would have liked to, um... Uh, yeah, I don't like seeing the, um the broken textures because if you still have the um the stick mags in it what happens is the textures kind of break but anyways so i'm just gonna go up to things faces and start blasting them with my explosive damage if i get crippled we'll see whether the, my theory as to whether it actually uh fixes my limbs is right but a spoiler alert it is i think i've already noted this before we just get a quick reload in here and since we've got a short scope, we might as well make use of it to make our shots slightly more accurate from back here. And this thing is definitely hitting hard enough to drop these guys fairly quickly, which is kind of what you want. The rate of fire seems slow, but, you know, the extra recoil that we get out of this thing with the true stuff, I probably could have gone aligned, actually, but, you know, the extra hip fire accuracy that we get out of it right now is pretty good. That, that'll do me very well in close quarters, and now we're doing 211 damage. Not bad at all. Okay, so what I'm going to try to do here is see if I can't find the benefits out of this thing. Uh, at least in terms of its uh, long shot potential. So, 70 and 23. 70 and 23. Uh, I'm not really sure whether I'm actually seeing much use out of it. Perhaps I'm a little bit too close. Um, the range is still good enough to give me the full damage at this range because I'm not using a suppressor, but look at all that XP. That is so good. I didn't show off my armor before, but it's all unyielding stuff, so I've got a massive intelligence boost, which obviously gives me... It makes the XP multiply even more crazy than it usually is. No using vats. Vats is for scrubs. <laughs> nah. But, uh, yeah. There's all my unyielding bonuses there. The perception is kind of wasted because I'm not going to be using this thing in vats, but whatever. Alright, let's do this then. Um, no point in me not running around and just blasting everyone like this, so that's what we'll do. We've got the decent hip by accuracy to back us up here. If they get too close... Oh, I died. I'm an idiot. 
Well, you know what they say, pride cometh before fall or whatever. Now, usually I'd say, all right, I'll just irradiate myself a little bit and, uh, you know, get back into nerd rage. But here's what happens. You just die too quickly. Now I've got... I, I've lost too much health now. I'm I'm doing this a little bit too dangerously. Sometimes um, you'll jump into the pool after you get irradiated to death and you can just, like, sit in there normally. It's kind of weird. You go for a swim in there if you really want to. It won't do you a lot of good, but it won't turn you into a green super mutant like these assholes. Could you imagine that, though, if you actually popped in there and you'd, 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 you'd die, right? You'd respawn as yourself, but I guess another version of you could be a super mutant. You could just see a super mutant version of yourself running around. And it wouldn't make a lot of sense, but you know, it would be kind of scary to see a super mutant winter. Just a super mutant with black makeup, with really pale green. I'm just going to shoot that one. Because uh, I don't trust this explosive damage. Whilst we do have perks that would reduce our damage input a little bit. You know, it's probably not a best idea to... Wait, what? You know, okay. Probably not the best idea to directly kill ourselves with explosive damage. But I'm going to give it a try anyway. Well, we can definitely out-tank it, which is helpful. Whether we can keep doing that... Whilst we're being attacked by a melee dude, I'm not really sure. Actually, we were kind of unlucky there. Serendipity usually has my back when it comes to these melee turds, but no, I just got bonked on the head by a big hammer and she dropped like a sack of potatoes. Ah, oh, well, what do you do, eh? We'll keep on going. Yeah, the damage seems to be pretty good. I could boost this a lot further, possibly even one shot these guys if I decided to stealth commando, but don't need to. Sometimes it's fun running around like an insane Doom guy. Also, they fixed the weird lighting bug on the gloves. They don't glow anymore, so that's helpful. I think I I uh, let that I let that one. Shit, when was the last time I actually used the ritual thing? I don't know. But even back then, I was like, "Hang on, these gloves are glowing. What's up with that?" And they they got around to fixing them. No, 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 no sneaking. We'll just go through the door. Okay, we're done here. Don't need to show you going through even more super mutants. You get the point. Let's go and shoot some tools. Now, if only Bethesda was so diligent in uh, fixing outfits that you, you know have to pay money for, you know. But yeah, look at this. It's still broken. I can't wear this outfit like 50% of the time because it's just broken like that. How annoying. That's so bad. I really wish they'd actually get around to fixing that. And the worst part is they had a patch note a while back saying, yeah, we fixed it, but no, it's it's still been broken ever since, so it's really annoying, Bethesda. Please actually fix that. You know, you know what I paid for? I paid for money for those atoms, possibly. I can't actually remember if I had the money gathered from things just in-game, because that was back when the game was first released, and they were handing out atoms like they were selling out, going out of style, but, you know, as you play more, there's less opportunity to actually get the atoms, and what happens is they'll get you to actually pay more. Alright. I don't think my arm's crippled anymore. It was crippled for a while, and you saw the dude with his little, little arm in a bandage, but... It doesn't seem to be swaying quite enough to actually warrant that, and no, we don't, have, we don't really have the rate of fire. If I was more cautious and less worried about whether my limbs were fixed, I think I would kill these guys without dying, but whatever. And obviously, radworms doesn't help, you dirty fucking bastards. Just die. Just die. Yeah, the, the explosive damage don't do nothing anymore. You gotta hit those targets. Which is good for, you know, PvPing, but too bad they use weapons that give you more explosions than you possibly should get. That's why they need to remove legacy weapons. All of the PvPs would go mad because everyone would be using Teslas then. Now that would be funny. Also, is there anyone on PC who actually gives a shit about PvP? I feel like it's a console thing. It's like they've all got something to prove. Okay. Okay, time to snipe Swan. 48 damage. Okay. Probably the same from back here. No, I'm seeing 30 and 22. So, hurrah, we are actually seeing the benefit out of long shot. Too bad we have to be this far back. Possibly could have used a medium scope here, but no, they're not actually that good. Luckily, Torment has my back here. He's just kind of hobbling along to get us, so no need to worry about sneaking. This fight is over. 884 XP. That's not bad. 
Okay, time to snipe at some crabs. No sneaking though, sneak damage is unrealistic. They need to know where I am so I can actually hit them better. See, if they're all running around and uh, not running directly at me, they're quite harder to hit because the recoil on this thing is a little bit more than I'm used to. I think it's a little bit magnified. Oh, don't hit me with damage over time. Well, actually you can, but I will just heal it off, so that's fine. It's good to have a weapon that counters one of the uh, worst mechanics in the game, though. No, that's certainly good. And this thing's about to actually kick the bucket. That's alright. We'll see if we can't beat the queen with it and, uh... We'll see what we can do. We'll throw a grenade in even though we kind of don't have to. What a delayed reaction she must have slept in today. And just go for these cheeky little headshots on him, I think. Ah, crap. Okay, it broke. That's okay. I can use this. World's fastest repair hands. No, actually re equip the weapon. Thank you. And I did it all before she came in and, you know, killed me, so that's helpful. Was there another crab around here, or is that her just stomping around? Okay, apart from Swan before, this might actually be the only time where we can actually put Longshot to good use before I just, you know, put it, put it in the bin for good, because honestly, not a real fan of the perk. I don't see a whole lot of point on using it, even with the extra bonuses and range you can get for at least sneak damage. It's just easy just to get in a little bit closer. There's nothing in the game that warrants being that far back either. If anything, it just makes them quite harder to hit. Although, not really because there's the, the weapons are hit scan, so whatever. Hold still. Now, checking these guys should probably be a lot easier than I had with the, um, the long scope. Unfortunately, the screen shake is going to be magnified tenfold because... Or maybe fourfold. That's I think that's about the zoom um, multiplier I get out of this. And whilst this one has landed, we'll just start filling his face with lead. Don't have to worry about this squash beast breath killing me. That could just stand here. Might as well. No threat to me. So that one's uh, up and about again. And what I could probably do is prioritize the wing and uh, bring him down once again. It's only a five percent chance, but if I'm hitting him twice with the regular bullet damage. That's more of a problem. Ah, uh, out of here, mate. Ah, I wonder if I can out-tank this deep, uh, this uh, damage over time piss. Let's see. Out of, out of here. Out of here. Yeah, the, the, the splash damage giving you heals makes vampires so much better. So, so much better. Anyways, back on this one. Just gonna stand right here. I think I've got one sentinel's bit on me, so that's helpful. The poison seems to not be affecting me, which I find kind of perplexing. Ah, okay, he's he's come back. Now, what's probably gonna happen is I'm going to die just to radiation, like you saw there, and the reloads. That's the second time the reloads got me. Maybe I should be using ground pounder. Okay, time to get serious. It's payback time, you fucking sky rats. Get down there. Oh, big mistake, mate. Big mistake. What are you looking at? Stop shooting at me with your puny little fucking pea shooter. You can die. Get down here. Fight like a Batman. Who staggered me? Who caused this indignity? Was it you? I bet it was you from all the way back there. The squash just like doing that all the time. Oh, it's probably the grenade launcher guy. Yeah, I could probably deal with that. I feel like the bat's a slightly worse threat. Oh, there's another death claw. There must have been a random encounter um, down over that away. Just death claws instead of crabs this time. Usually crabs are up to that fight, but mm, not today. Look at this cheeky little bastard thinking he's hot shit with a hunting rifle. They all saw the barrels off because they're too heavy, otherwise too front heavy. They can't actually hold it properly if it's not sawn off. Anyways, so there you go, it's a Vampire's Assault Rifle, explosive VE, very nice. The best thing about that is, the, a part of, the, the best part of this weapon is it's, you can call it a VE Assault Rifle. Makes it sound like a, a classic Commodore, not classic, one of the newer ones, but, you know, back when Commodores were still made in Australia at least, that's something. It's not a spectacular weapon, I think the rate of fire definitely does, oh I've got a Mole Rat Horde, I don't really care about that. Wait, what are they doing down here? Die, you little bastard. There we go. I'm not going to pick that up just to annoy people. Anyways, yeah, 
if you want to see this thing in your game, I could probably give it away. I don't really care. Thank you for watching, guys.